Hey guys, so I'm finally recording my skincare regimen video. It's I know I promised it about two weeks ago, but life has been happening and things have gone on in the last two weeks and I just didn't want to give y'all a half-ass video. So we're here today and I'm gonna get it started. I'm recording. Um I do different washes depending on how my skin is and if it's day or night. So the first one will be the night. Typically I have this on after I get out of the shower because I put conditioner in my hair and I don't like the air to touch it and dry it out. So the first thing I start with is a makeup wipe. If I have makeup on or any type of, you know, say just a tenant moisturizer or anything like this. These are um, some I love and live by. This is a Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair. And I actually use this um, face wash sometimes. Now this is an exfoliating... Um, This is a foliating makeup wipe. So it has a little bit of ridges. I will say it's a little bit tough on my skin, but it's really good if you have a lot of makeup on. Um, typically, I never have a full face of makeup, but I like it because it gets all the makeup and like topical dirt off. It is really good for brightening. So I start with this. As you can see, it's like ridges on it. And um, I go ahead and typically wipe it off like this and the makeup I have. But today, all I have on is lipstick, so nothing's really coming off, except for any dirt that might have got on my face. But typically, it's not really dirt on my face, so yeah. So to explain to you guys what different soaps I'm gonna use. Okay, I'm so after I've cleaned my face with my makeup wipe, I like to get a little water. Then I'll start with my Biore. And just rub this in. I've actually mixed two Biore products. So it's the regular one like this. I'll put everything in the description bar. And then it's the one with the exfoliant. So make everything super good. And the one with the exfoliant has a really small piece that are perfect. Time to rinse. Next product, we're going to use the Yes. And you don't really need a lot of this. And the last thing we're going to use is the black African soap. So typically I just lather it up on my hands. Just softly massage. next step is you always clean your face with toner after you wash. Um, I typically either use witch hazel or apple cider vinegar depending on how my skin is doing. So it's been a while since I've done the apple cider vinegar. If you want to do apple cider vinegar, I don't suggest doing it more than like once or twice a week. It's very like strong on the skin. I take my cotton pads, whatever, and I just go on circular motions. Apple cider vinegar is really good for like brightening the skin. Um, it's really, it takes like all the impurities off. Apple cider really, vinegar is like really good for your body, period. I'll make other videos about like how I drink it and... I mean, y'all saw my face mask where I make it with the face mask, but I do, I do tons of other stuff. Always make sure you like clean your neck. So. As you can see, I typically don't. I never have dirt on my skin afterwards. So there it is. Um, it will be a little bit brown because I was having my brown. I did do my neck and 
because I'm recording this video, I'm not about to get all down and dirty trying to wash my neck. So there you go. And then I go ahead and moisturize. So my moisturizer I use every day is raw coconut oil, coconut oil. I love it. You need to keep it in a cool place, especially when it's summertime because it gets melty. So I just get a little bit. A little goes a long way. This job will really last you forever. Okay, let's call it. So because I do like a lot of different washing at night, I really like to, you know, be nice and good with my skin. And put a lot of oils in it. Coconut oil is really good for like spa treatments and just moisturizing, period. So after I massage that into my skin, I then go with any spa treatments I need to do. So I've been doing the Garnier Fruit Trees, Teeth, whatever, um, skin peel. Um, to get all dark spots, so that's actually been working. You do it for a certain amount of time. I typically just do it randomly when I feel like it. Um, if I have any type of pimples or discoloration going on, I just picked up a maximum strength acne medication like a benzoyl peroxide gel from Target and I just pop it on. And at night, I always put a face cream on. This is um, Estee Lauder Resilient Lift. And when you put face cream on, you want to put somewhere in that and you go in upward motions. Okay, people, you don't want wrinkles, so you prevent this now. If I have eye under eye cream, I put that in there too. And oh, that's so good. And there you have it. That's my nighttime skin skincare routine. This is my nighttime skincare routine. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hit me with a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below or send me an email. If you want to see my daytime routine and just like, you know, my morning time, what I do really quickly to get out the house and what products I use on my face, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and then that'll be right on the way. I think I'm going to give you like an everyday makeup tutorial because people always wonder if I wear foundation. If I don't, might give y'all the back spill. Who knows? If you want that, go ahead and leave some comments below. But anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Snapchat. My name is Wendy. That in the city, and um, I'm selling a bunch of stuff on eBay and like my website. So check that out. The link is somewhere over here, over there, over there, somewhere. Have a good weekend and happy May. Do I have any spots? I don't have any spots right now. Do I need to use this? I don't know. I have some dark spots somewhere. But like I was like, I don't know. My friends are trying to get me to go. It's my birthday weekend. My, he was like, it's my birthday weekend. I was like, wait, really? When's your birthday? He was like, the 23rd. I was like, oh my gosh, mine's the 25th. Oh my gosh, we're two days apart. He was like, oh, then even if you don't go to Chilecto, we gotta do something that weekend. Oh my gosh, we gotta get lit. And it's just like, oh my gosh, he's nice. Like. You don't even really know me. You're just like, we have to do something because it's our birthday weekend. I was like, okay.